Περίμενα. Πάτινα μου. Βάλια. Shame on you. You are eating. Vegan. Look at Paul. He can sell his soul for food. Καλύτερο κορίτσι. Μπράβο, πελαγία. Ops. Hello, everyone. I have visited my friend Βάλια. Βάλια from the old farm pet. Where are we? We are in my grandpa's hometown, which is one of the many, many, many small little villages of Greece. How many stray dogs we have here? I don't know, because the number keeps changing. That keeps changing. That, that's the thing with, uh, with stray dogs everywhere in Greece, especially in places like that. You cannot keep count because every season they, they change. There's new ones and the old ones, they... They can be run over, they can be poisoned, some can... Yeah. You know, sometimes if they're sheepdogs or hunting dogs, if they can catch them, they actually catch them and they, they use them. So the sheepdogs, if they consider them, you know, worthy of working, yes. they might pick them up for that reason. Places like these are so behind in everything. Mm -hmm. And that is what people don't understand, mm -hmm. that everything is behind, so the mentality is behind. So if their own dog gets sick, What they do is just deal with it by watching the dog being sick and nothing else. I mean, there's... And the dog dies and when you ask them what happened what to the happened? dog, died. it just died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of them might be gone by Easter. Eh? Oh, shit. <laughs> so what people do here for a living? Well, some are farmers. Some have animals, like they do it for a living, like the Matlis shepherds, or even if they don't do it for a living, they have a few animals that they, you know, use for themselves. Yeah, and that's a typical backyard. But like 90% they don't of dogs. Well, if they do, they know the dogs. Same. No, I like everywhere in the countryside. Yeah. Whatever. So you choose to go to your village to get some rest for a couple of days and it turns out to be the worst decision ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's why most Greek rescuers they don't like traveling around Greece. Oh my god, if you see that, you never feel bad for the strays ever again. Yes, they, they are. are, yes. Some dogs are they, better if I to leave them, live their life as they want, than see them chained for the rest of their, their life. Yes. It's awful. No, There's the goats. There's the goats. Where, where, where? That's a penalty. Get out of my life. Hello, baby. <laughs> like here than dogs, eh? Everywhere in Greece. Yes, Is cats. Yes, strange? that's true. Very difficult to keep a cat restrained. Yeah, it looks cute from above. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I walk my dogs. Where? Show me. Up there, where that lone tree is. Lone trees there. The top of the mountain. So high. Yeah, we walk. And we go from the left, do all the tour around, and we come back from the right. Are you coming here very often? I try because I like it. See, my only problem is the animals. And it's complicated when you are from the place. And it's a cultural thing. I mean, because people think that, you know, we see, we go around the place and we see a couple of stray dogs and we rescue them. And we see like four or five chained dogs and we call the police and we solve the problem. That's not how it works. It's a cultural thing. So it's going to take years, maybe decades to fix it. Of Talk course. to them about spaying and neutering. As and always. They react as if you're, you, it's so out of their mentality, the whole idea of spaying and neutering. I think that the important thing of education it for is. the young kids to grow up with it is. open mind. But people don't understand it because Greece, apart from the city, which is Athens, yeah. it is decades behind. Decades behind, Not only yes. in animals, exactly. in many things, women's issues, other social issues, everything, including animals, of course, which is the last one, you know, in line. Cute though, no? Yeah, it's beautiful. What do you think? I think it's very quiet here. Comparing to my village, if you walk around the square, you will hear dogs barking, and in every yard, you will see at least one dog, chained or not, in good or bad situation, but you will see, in every house, you will see dogs. Here is different. Yeah. We walk around and uh, we hear nothing. For me, this is a typical one. Really? Yeah. No, this is Maybe different for me. Around. I Look. shouldn't be complaining so much. Eh? No. <laughs> okay. I think it's too many, of course, because I live in Athens and there are no you, stray dogs in Athens. Yes. Where I live. You yeah. live in Athens. Dogs in the balconies in Athens. That is what 
I don't see. You see yeah. other things in Athens, and I live. It's better to see it in a yard than in a balcony up in the fourth yes. floor. This is the most unnatural thing to do to a dog. Of course. I think it's worse. Worst thing we yeah, see at the villages is many, many chained dog, chained jo dogs. Mm. That's the worst thing. They keep it for all the life of the dog. Yeah, yeah, 15 yeah. years. Chained in one spot. 24 7, all day, every yes, day. Exactly. For as long the as worst the thing is. ever. There's a husky, it's chained behind the tractor. Um, people abroad can understand is that the number of the strays in Greece is huge. And the dogs indeed. And the like dogs owned indeed. dogs that are yes, abused. Exactly. Are. So that's so, a huge problem for us because the number of them is endless. Yes, and it's a no-kill country. No There's kill no country. euthanasia. Yeah. Yeah. So the Absolutely. best thing we can do is to help those that need so, directly help. Yes. That's the best thing for us to do. Yeah, yeah. And keep them healthy, of course, even as strays. Healthy, well fit and neutered. The house is beautiful. Yes, it is, yes. Wait. That's kind of like what all the houses used to look oh, like. Oh, car. <laughs> and they take better care of the sheep because it's yeah. their livestock and they live from it. They live from it, yes. They so have some to take from them. They can sell yeah. the meat if, yeah. the, if, the, if, if the sheep are sick, for So example. the dog is just a dog if it's not a work dog. So they definitely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and here we are again. Way to turn the cup. So I bring my dogs when I come here, and they have their dog beds. And I also bring my favorite cat. Mm, anyway, <laughs> Bridget, we yes, all know Bridget. about her now. <laughs> anyway, so um, uh, the funny thing is that there's this there's this young girl that lives uh, like nearby. She really loves dogs. But she's a country girl. She's like eleven, uh, but she's a country girl, so she's used to the kind of life dogs have here. But she always comes and she pets my dogs and everything. And before she got her own dog, uh, who lives in the in the yard, she was asking me questions. So she's like, where do they sleep? And I said, well, they sleep in their dog beds. You're like, oh, it's the first time I hear of that. Really? Man, you see, 11 years old, and she didn't even know the concept. That the dog dogs beds, can have their beds own beds. Start. Exactly. Yes. Isn't that impressive? That tells a yes. lot about the mentality. Bravo, Apollon. Does he Bravo, Apollon. Bravo, Mila. Bravo, Chapla, Apollon. Bravo. That's Chapla. Teza. Teza. Bravo. Tupa. Apollon. Can I tupa? Bravo, Tao. You prepare him for any movie? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> My first video was about Apollo doing those tricks. <laughs> ah, Pelagia, A treat go. for Pelagia, please. Yeah, Pelagia just get the treats because she's existing. Hi, Rob. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> look, the most beautiful cat in the whole world. The <gasps> homorphy, <laughs> please. Did you like the tour? <laughs> Very much. Τρίψε τα αυτιά σου πάνω στη θεία την Ερμιόνη. Τρίψε τα αυτιά σου πάνω στη θεία την Ερμιόνη. Αγάπη Can you turn it to selfie from here? Being around the village and seeing so many animals that they don't have a good life and then coming back and seeing Pelagia and Apollo having such a great love. Life? Well, that's what we want. You are giving me Make a heart. Especially, especially Apollo, because he's a hunting dog. People yeah. are very confused that I have him as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo is just pretending to like you because he's expecting food. He likes me. You don't know. Apollo, you like me? I love you. Does you not feel like sitting near me on you? Where you move? You don't feel like sitting near me. Where's your nose? Mwah. Thank you for visiting. I love you to the moon and back. Bye bye, Polly. Polly, Polly. So I am on my way back from Valles Village. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna check her channel, you will find the link below in the description. If you want to support me. Please subscribe or join me on Patreon. With your help, we can save more animals in need. Thank you.